Hey y'all, welcome back. It's Wednesday, so you know we're, we're winging, winging it. it. <laughs> <laughs> you might recognize these folks if you've been with us for a while. These are our great friends, Deb and Scott, who just celebrated their first nomad anniversary. <laughs> so we're back with them. They're going to give us an update, give us some tips, and stay to the end because they're going to share if it's all been worth it. So stick around. Okay, before we get started, you know we got to review the rules of winging it. Since we're here with friends, we're going to set the timer on my phone for 15 minutes. We're going to talk about the topic. This week's topic is Deb and Scott. And then when the timer goes off, we'll wrap things up. Totally unedited, unscripted, and, and you, you get, get what, what you, you get. get. <laughs> so, <laughs> 15 minutes on the clock. We're winging it. Well, to start off, We've had you guys on before, but tell everybody, what do you travel in? Uh, Go ahead, dear. We travel in a 43-foot Newmar Dutch Star, model 4369. It's gorgeous. We love it. So how, how long <laughs> it is, is it? It is beautiful. How, how long is it? You said 43, 43, and how tall is it? 13 feet. Yeah. 13 feet. In my GPS, I put a few more inches, just so I don't want to get into that. Splitting hairs by no means, but yeah, the, the coach is 13 feet tall. And you tow? Uh, we tow a, a Dodge Ram, a, a 2014 Dodge Ram. Uh, love it. Yeah, it's uh, nothing that fancy, and I know it'll only last so many more years, but. Um, so I love you tow it four? Uh, you tow it four wheels down. Four wheels down. Yep, yeah. and it is. That's. I'll throw that tip in right now. <laughs> it's the only way to go. Four down. Yeah. I've talked to people that have done, uh, used uh, the dolly or um, a trailer and uh, all they did is complain. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, because you have to have it. somewhere to put the dolly as exactly. well. Y'all are already stretching it in a lot of yeah. places on yeah. sides. We've been in a lot of parks that you there is just no other spot. You have to actually rent another spot to put your trailer or your dolly here. You know, so it gets, uh, yeah, it's just so much better. I'll just yeah. put it that way. It's well, you had mentioned there's another big advantage to the truck. There is, and uh, we actually we started um, we started our uh, road trips with a, a Jeep as our towed, and, and it was uh, a nice Jeep. It was a nice was. Jeep. Um, it just didn't work out totally good. Uh, Deb didn't care drive didn't care for driving it too much and so on, but. Um, we found that the huge, huge advantage of the pickup truck is using the bed of the truck. We put all of our yard furniture, um, grills. I carry two grills, a, a smoker and a small uh, uh, propane grill. And um, it's just been fantastic. It's so easy, you pull in, you don't even have to get under, get in your, your uh, basement. You can just go in the back of your truck where it's easier pulling things out of. So it's been great. That's awesome. Yeah, that's, you know, that's one thing. You don't see a ton of people that are pulling trucks right. behind their motorhomes, but when you've got the tow capacity to do it, it makes complete sense, I think. It's good. Yeah, Jeeps, I think, are by far, Jeep Wranglers are number one. Oh, but, yeah. Um, they're nice. They tow very easily, uh, but I tell you, the, uh, the Ram is uh, fantastic for space well you know and it works great too when we're all down here together and we want to make a costco run we, yeah. take, their, we take their truck yes. and <laughs> fill up the bed and again we fill up the bed yeah. <laughs> yeah. yes and then yeah. it's just a matter of okay now where do we put it all yeah, yeah. exactly <laughs> in the bed of the truck in the bed of the truck that's right <laughs> so y'all have just completed one year Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. And you're still married? And yeah. Still married. <laughs> so far. <laughs> and it's been a crazy year. It has. So has it, you know, how's that worked out for you? I know, I know, you know, kind of how much traveling you did, but do you want to share some of that experience with folks? Oh, yeah. Um, so we were in southern Texas when it, when COVID really slammed down and hit. So we were really close to the border in the McAllen area. And I'll tell you, you know, everybody that was from Canada fled to the border and everybody left and went home. And then there was maybe a dozen of us full-timers left because 
that was our home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it got a little eerie in that park. Um, you know, it was just interesting. So the day before Easter is when we headed back up north because our kids and stuff are, you know, up up in Minnesota with the grandkids, and we it, there was nobody on the roads. It was it was like an eerie an eerie yeah, really horror was. film yeah. or something. But you know, we got up there, and it was a little edgy to start with because the campgrounds, even though we had reservations and things, they weren't sure if they could let us in or not based on the governor's mandate. But they did. Yeah. Um, they let us in, and so we stayed in Minnesota for a while. And then we did a little cross country tour over to the to get our Magna Shade over there in South Carolina, which is another yep. great tip. <laughs> That's another oh, great yeah. tip. Oh, yeah. Get we love Magna Shade. Get yeah. a Magna Shade. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. A class A for the front window. Uh, Magna Shade is awesome. Yes, it is. So we did a little road trip, and on the way, we decided we'd stop in Branson and see a few things, and things were just starting to open up. So it was yeah. kind of nice because the crowds weren't large. Oh, yeah. Um, so we saw a few things, the things that were open, and then we came back home. Oh, via the Newmar factory, I think is how that one worked. So, and spent some time at the factory and had some things fixed. But, you know, it was just a matter of campgrounds were, were open then. And if you're fully contained, they didn't have an issue with you because they didn't want you using the restrooms. You know, their clubhouses and things were closed. But, you know, that was okay. As long as you had a place to park and you had hookups mm -hmm. and you could be outside, everything was good. Home, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had a yeah. place to park. So, yeah. yeah. And now, okay. so, you know, were you happy that you were in the RV at the time or were you wishing you still had the sticks and bricks house to ride that all out or kind of where did you land in the middle of that because for us we were happy even if things weren't exactly as we had planned yeah. that we weren't just stuck in one place you know we yeah. still had the option to do other things yeah and it was easier to be in our own space I don't know, I had mixed yeah. feelings. Yeah. I did. Because I thought, well, if we were still in the house, at least I could be running around my backyard and doing what I wanted. Um, it, it, that was tough. I think yeah. the whole COVID thing was just tough all the way around. Yeah. 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 But y'all still logged a lot of miles. We did. <laughs> we went. We did. We, we traveled around. <laughs> yep. Yep. And then, you know, on our way back down here, we hit where other some, we were in Colorado. We were in, oh, we took a side trip to Pender. Nebraska yep. to have our Blue Ox yeah. service. I mean, we were all over the place this summer, so we we did. We traveled a lot. So you did get to see all your kids, yes. even though yes. we were in the middle of a pandemic. Exactly. So exactly. see the smile on our face? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all the grandbabies. All yeah, the grandbabies. and it was always so really good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and now that's a great tip. You said you went to, you know, you went to Magna Shade. Yep. You went to Newmar, you went to Blue Ox, yes. so you yeah. took care of a lot of those things. And yes. that's a great tip that we were talking to somebody from Colorado about the other day, uh, that, you know, you can go to these factories oh, yeah. for a lot of these places that supply RV things and actually either buy from them or get things adjusted directly at the factories. And some of them have campgrounds like Blue Ox. Yes, yeah. yes. So, um, you know, that's something that we want to seek out even more of. Is yeah, why not go why right not? to the you source? Know? Yes. Exactly. You know, and the camp, I think at Blue Ox, we camped for free, didn't we? Yeah, yes. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It is free. I think it was free. Yeah. And it was full hookups. Yeah, yeah, and they have full hookups. Hook yeah. yeah, so I mean, a lot of these places will offer you a place to stay a night or two, you know, while they're working on your stuff. Uh, Newmar, of course, you park there for free. Yeah. So I didn't mind staying there for two weeks. Yeah. You know, that was a nice Absolutely. campground. <laughs> yeah. And actually, yeah. um, a lot of the uh, the companies will actually do work for free. They are put their products yeah. on for free there, yeah. where you would have to pay for it with um, if you had it done somewhere else. Yes, that's right? a fantastic Cause, tip. Because I know Magna Shade, uh, at the FMCA rally, we could have had them put on our shade, but they do charge right. Right. because right. they have to charge because they're yeah. sending their employees to the yeah, rally. Yeah. Right. Um, so yeah, and when we were charged for install there. Oh, at, okay. At, yeah, at Mag Magna Shade, but um, there I know there's some some others, others that yes. that don't. Okay. Yeah. They're still but fantastic. you know it was put yep. on correctly. Exactly. Oh, they're yeah. fantastic. Exactly. There. And that's the other yep. piece of yeah. it. You know, and the it folks that it gave us a journey too. It, it we. Ended up going out to North Carolina, and um, you know, it was just uh, yeah, yeah. It was a fun, fun trip. Absolutely, that's mm -hmm. awesome. Well, do you guys? Are there some other tips that you have that yeah. you've learned in this year? Yeah, journey? I, I had jotted down when we talked yeah. about doing this. Jotted down a couple, and um, you know, we talked a little bit about um, the uh, you know the truck and other equipment 
that we found has been very important is um, like water softener. Um, it's been huge. It's helped us keep our fixtures in the, the coach in better shape and just soft water is uh, it's a dream compared to some of the, the water you run into in some parks. And that's right, you know, you're using it all the time. Exactly. And you guys have a dishwasher, you've got a washer and dryer, yeah. yep. you've got of course the shower. And we actually just ordered, just ordered. a water softener because after of them. talking to them. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. y'all actually had a water softener before you were full-time RV. Yes, we right. did. Yep. Yes. We so did. as part of your you know, part-time experience, we always had a water softener at our house, but we haven't had one in the RV till now. And after talking to them, we're like, what are we doing? Why yeah. not? You yeah. know? So I've wanted one, but it awesome. just wasn't on the priority list till I saw they had it and I had it. <laughs> <laughs> he They're got water awesome. softener envy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, and through all this now, um, uh, we've had ours so long that I actually just ordered new resin for the inside of it. To, yeah, there you, you go. Know, so ours will be like brand new again, which isn't wasn't very expensive. You know, That's really awesome. Really for the resin. Yeah. That's neat. Yeah. Um, That's a recharge, uh, a major recharge. Yes. Thing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that is what does it. Another thing is um, a lot of us have uh, GPS, but get the right GPS, get an RV GPS. It, yeah. you know, it'll, it'll steer you in the right direction and it won't take you um, in the wrong place. So. Well, y'all had y'all have a yes. crazy story yeah, about Yeah, crazy that. story. So we were with a bunch of friends and we were caravanning down to Las Vegas and, and one person in the group decided they wanted to hit this little casino on the way um, and have lunch and things. And so we put it into our GPS and it didn't recognize the address. And I'm like, what is wrong with this GPS? We know this, you know, there's a, the other two have it in their GPS and ours just wouldn't recognize the address. So we're going down the interstate and we can see it over there. I'm like, okay, we're just going to go. So we exit and as we're exiting, we realize the bridge in front of us, we're not going to fit under it. Uh oh. So that's why the GPS wouldn't recognize the address <laughs> because we were too tall. The other two were okay. What did they, oh, they have class C, so a little bit right. shorter. Yep. And so we stopped <laughs> after having one of those oh my god moments and how did you get out of that you've yeah. got folks behind well, you yeah now. right uh -huh. it was like uh, the very end of where we could turn back onto the freeway we actually um had to jump over a curve yeah to get oh back on yeah. yeah in a 43 know, foot motor home yeah. towing a truck it was kind of like ba boom ba boom <laughs> okay <laughs> that would have been a terrible start to our first year because yes. that was where we started this whole started. journey yeah. oh my god so that's yeah like, see for your, those of you that don't know, your, your RV GPS, you put in the size of your coach. So right. it knows, your like your coach is 13 feet and yep. maybe Scott puts in a few extra inches, yep. 13 and a half. Uh, and it knows how long you are. And it knows are, how long you yeah. are, so. And your weight. You yeah, know, there's a yeah. lot of weight and your weight. And, and um, do you have propane or not? They yeah, don't have exactly. propane. We do, because mm -hmm. there's some. There's some tunnels and stuff you can't go in yeah, and get propane. Right. So all these factors it puts in there, and it's it's keeping you from making those major mistakes. Yes, yep. yes. So and there's it, a reason why. Right. There was no RV, for you no rig friendly way to get to from get where there. you are nope. to where you wanted yep. to go. That yeah, was so, a major heart stopper. <laughs> yeah. So we jumped back on the freeway and immediately Deb called them and just said. We're gonna keep going. We'll, we'll catch there. up with you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I was still shaking a little bit oh, at that oh point, yeah. thinking we could yeah. have taken, uh, could have shortened our coach about. Yeah. Uh, Your yeah. ACs oh, would have been left behind. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Holy cow! Exactly. Uh, another thing is uh, a good surge protector, um, and a, a little tip is I know Tom and Stacy's website has some some links to some of this equipment. Yeah. So check it out. <laughs> yeah, we Not strongly. Not a paid endorsement. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. You know what? We strongly recommend that. Oh, yeah. And we're the ones that told them about yeah. the yeah. surge protector. Yeah, I'll exactly. tell you what, we're already on our second one because the first one did its job. It yes. did its job. We were yep. somewhere mm -hmm. and it, you know, shorted out and, you know, it, it's like not working. What What's what's the matter? And then it took us a little bit to determine. The good thing is oh, the, yeah. co the company yep. replaced it, it, took it actually. The hit oh, that's awesome. It took the hit. That's yes. awesome. Yes. Yep. Yeah, and I mean, let me you tell spend you. so much money on these things. Yeah. It's just, you know, peace it's, of mind. We've been a lot of places where, you know, it's not that necessarily there's bad power. You might, might. find places, no. and we have, where the power needs upgrading or it's just really weak or whatever. But you just never know. You get a lot of folks lined up, all sucking energy. Things happen. 
And you just want to have that protection. Exactly. Lightning, lightning. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. you don't want to have electrical problems. No, no, exactly. no, no, no. no. Yeah. yeah. And um, I guess that goes back to the GPS. I had made a note on just good planning and when you are going somewhere, and I know a lot of you do this, uh, but use Google Maps and Google Earth and look down on your uh, the campgrounds. Um, I do this especially when we're, um, we're traveling, we're on our travel mode and we're just stopping somewhere for a night because you, um, you just don't know what you're going to find. There could be a lot of low hanging trees and a quick little story on that is our very our very first trip, um, our very first stop, uh, we pulled up and I hadn't, I guess I, I don't remember if I did look at this place, but um, we pulled up and I didn't turn into the driveway yet because we could see that there was, oh, no, keep going. Keep going. There this was actually <laughs> two big oak trees that were alongside the driveway, a ways down the drive. And they were like hanging down oh. on over the drive-through, which and I'm sure just, were beautiful. Uh, yes, which they were beautiful, but they would have scratched the heck out of the coach. Yeah. So, the 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 great thing, and uh, don't be afraid to do this, is uh, we jumped out, ran up, and talked to the owner, and he said not a problem at all. He immediately grabbed his equipment, came out, and he cut it. Wow. For us. Yes. And I was out there helping him move the branches and everything to say it thank you. And, yes. um, but it was just awesome. Uh, that was just a great start to this year. It really was. That just is, to see. We, we did that once that too. Awesome, we yeah. were in an in a RV park. Mm -hmm. And the spot they gave us, it was beautifully oh, shaded. Awesome. I've never it seen. It was during the summer. So it's it was fantastic. Like, yeah. So we thought that's yeah, great. Yeah. But it was too low. Even for us. Even for and us. only 11 foot 7. Yeah, you know? but he did come out and uh -huh. he trimmed the, yes. the branches so we could fit into the space. So same oh, thing. So don't be yeah, afraid yeah. to ask. So don't, you're right. Don't Just be ask. afraid to ask to talk to people, you know? Exactly. And I know that, I know we're over now, but these guys are awesome. So oh, I wanted yeah. to share a little bit <laughs> yeah, more. Yeah, we got to tell, Deb has one that I think it's so important that we got to stretch the time yeah, a little bit yeah, yeah. on, on the, um, your pets. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Pets. yes. Okay, so a lot of our veers travel with dogs and cats and things. And so um, we started off with two. And one of our little dogs, she was old and kind of sick. So, Irene. Yep, yeah. Irene. And um, um, bless her heart, she was such a cutie. Anyway, so I made it a point of when we were, we knew we were going to be for the night, I researched ahead of time, or I researched right when we got there, the closest vet. Yeah. Because it's, you know, like Scott says, you just can't pick up the phone and dial 911 for your dog. Right. You know, you have to know where there's a vet. So that's important. And um, a lot of times if you go into the offices of the RV parks, they will have information hanging on the yes. bulletin board or information for you for the, you know, the pet animal hospitals and things like that. So that's good too. So make sure you know where those are. And a great thing you've always done is as we're walking the dogs, you've always talked to other pet owners oh, about suggestions because for a vet, you know, yep. that's when we stay somewhere for um, yes. a period of time because um, even if you know one, that might not be the right one. Yep. You're right. Yeah. So and you, so folks yep. that have experience have with that, exactly. yes. and we did find that that I think yeah. we had kind of targeted one for proximity to where we were, but Didn't the good the, one yeah. was a little bit of a drive, but right. it um, they had better everything. They had better yeah. everything. So we got that tip from, from another RVer. That's true. And then the other thing with pets is if, if your if your animals eat, you know, a special food, you know, that you can get at your pet stores at home or a lot of times pet stores, you know, the pet smarts I found in the pet code doesn't always carry um, the food that we're feeding at the time. So we stock up before we go. That's a great you idea. Know? And sometimes you can get it on Amazon. You can always order from Chewy, I think, too. But you, you never want to run out of pet food because switching a dog over because yeah. you ran out yeah, on something different usually gives them tummy yeah. issues. So, yeah. And you don't want that. And you don't I mean, want that. Yeah. That's icky inside of a motorhome. So. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we've been there. Yeah. Yeah. That's too. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. That's, yeah, that's a great a great tip. tip. Yeah. Because yeah. so many RVers travel with pets. With and, pets, yeah. And a lot of people do the RV lifestyle so they can take their pets Exactly. Home. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. Okay, now the big one. Yeah. We said we were going to wait to the end here. 
It's been a year for you on your nomadiversary. Was was Yay. it all the downsizing and selling the house and moving in the RV? <laughs> was it worth it? And the traveling and, and the, the weird traveling. Times was, and it was it worth it? Was it worth it? Are what you happy you that you did it? Isn't Check it? back next year. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have an update. <laughs> we probably will. Yeah. Uh, I would, you know, I would say all in all, yes. I would say yes. Um, for it's, sure. What's I think the hardest part for me is just the grandkids. Yeah. You know, you don't get to see them as much as you normally would. And the old and they're getting a little old now, so now they're busy. Yeah. You know, so they got stuff going on all the time every night and the weekends. And so what I another tip is this is before the pandemic hit too. I set up a weekly Zoom with all four of the grandkids. So we look like the Brady Bunch there, you know, on yeah. the screen. <laughs> and you know, they're not pay necessarily paying attention. The boys are running around with their, you know, capes on and their phone and I see our treetops, you know, things like that. Whatever. Yeah. But you get to to hear them you get to talk to them they really like to see you and yes. so it's grammy's fun hour that's what there i call you it go. Yeah. I love grammy's it. fun hour i love yeah. it and so it's a way to stay connected but how can you be a grammy when you're only 29 yeah right thank you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh i well, think i love you <laughs> you know in y'all yes. in y'all's case the grandbabies did live pretty close. They did. I guess yeah. from yes. the sticks and bricks. Yes. You know, we meet other folks that are on the road that their families are spread all around. Anyways, so it's a so way yeah. they can go actually see everybody. That's right. Yeah. That's yeah. right. But, yep. you know, that's a great tip. And actually, Deb had the great idea for us to use Zoom while we were all traveling. Oh, how awesome We was had that? a weekly Zoom. We had a weekly Zoom, yes. And so we could catch up with where are you now and how's it yep. going and how is it where you are and yep. is it someplace we should think to visit or, you know, so that was fantastic. Yeah, that, it's good. That's how you stay in touch on the road. With technology today, you can do it. Absolutely. You they are Zoom masters. Yes, <laughs> not really. <laughs> I, gotta tell, I gotta tell you, quick, it, it, this is crazy. So as Zoom goes, you get like 40 minutes when you first start. <laughs> and you can restart it after that 40 minutes. Oh my God. And it was a, it was a game because every time it would go off, we would all see who could get back get up quick, there quick, first. Quick. And no matter how fast we did it, they always got back up They're always sitting there going, oh. <laughs> 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 and of course, we're using the free version of Zoom. And so yes. that's where we have the, you know, the limit on the there. But limit, yeah. Yeah. another but tip is just log back in. If anybody's absolutely. using Zoom, you don't have to finish your conversation. Yeah. You can just start her up again. You yep. know, the funny thing with that, if it's just two, yeah, it's it, unlimited. It's unlimited. That's true. But if yeah. it's if you have multiple, like we did, yeah. It, you know, so anyway, and that was a blast. We all kept track on the road. And yes. Now we yep. get to spend uh, some real time with you guys. And if and you okay, so last last Sunday's video, you know, we talked about our two-year nomadiversary. And we talked about the kind of five things that we've learned in that two years. And one of the things we talked about was it is so easy to make new oh, friends yeah. and to meet people. And these guys are the perfect example. <laughs> perfect. Because as we sit here today, we've known them probably just under two years. We yep. met yes. them right after we yeah. went full time down here at Jamaica Beach exactly. yes. the in Galveston. We were they weren't the full first time. time they were here. They were just on an extended trip to kind of test the waters and see, yes. you know, how it might go. And we parked, we were actually parked kind of across from each other, which is how we met. And now they are among, they're like family. Yeah. Oh, they are family. <laughs> and so sure. they are the perfect example that you just never know in this lifestyle who you're going to be parked across from. Yes. Who you're <laughs> going to run into as you're walking around the parks or as you're exploring. And it makes the journey so much better because now we have a schedule, you know, to meet up and we keep in touch when we're not exactly. met up. And, uh, you know, it, it's all part of it, isn't yes. it? I They're mean, like our next door neighbors. Yes. I mean, there's <laughs> yeah. no doubt. Even when yeah. we're on the road and we're yeah. separate, they're still like our next door neighbors. We probably talk to them and see them a lot more than we ever did our next it's door amazing. neighbors. Yeah. yeah. You know what? Same here. Yeah. 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 And Same so, yeah. you know, it, and if you haven't seen the first video we did with them, they were our very first Winging It With Friends. <laughs> yeah, that's and right. they that's were in right. the process at the time of going full time. And we delayed kind of putting that video out a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but we'll link it in the description if you want to see kind of where they were at that point and yeah. how far they've come. Yeah, we sold the house. Yes, they <laughs> did. Yeah, they did. Because at that point, 
the house was sold that had fallen through, so we kind of just shut her down for the winter and left her. Yeah, That's we right. Were, you know, we were already on the road and yeah. uh, full time, but yeah. the house was just sitting there yeah. empty. And so, you know, you just, and, and that's the thing. It's like, you know, having that opportunity to meet people like this that we never would have met. They no. were from Minnesota, y'all. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, we're clear down here. We're down here. <laughs> we're way we're up here. We probably never would have we'll met never, if we weren't right. RVers, that's you right. know? So totally. Now we got to get you guys up there. That's, yeah. That's next on you the did. list. It, yes, it we got to yes, get up definitely. there. That's for sure. So we hope you've enjoyed this episode, this extended bonus Beautiful. episode. <laughs> Follow up, where are they now? Of Winging It with Friends with Deb and Scott. We'd love to hear your comments. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll do a, a year two update next year. Yeah, we'll I have see. a feeling we will plan on it. All <laughs> right, you got it. So we will see you on Sunday. Safe travels. And happy camping. And keep on winging it. <laughs> Bye, y'all.